Hey guys, what's happening? It's your boy Sue from Sue's Brew Reviews, and today we got a new brew to check out. Uh, this one is a pretty locally famous beer right here. We've got the Parish Brewing Company's Ghost in the Machine. Freaking awesome. This beer is uh, quite legendary uh, around Louisiana in craft beer circles, I would say. Uh, it's made by Parish Brewing in Broussard, Louisiana. And this is a double IPA, I believe. Uh, so it says, Welcome to the future. Our collective human consciousness, or ghost in the machine, has gained a tolerance for hops beyond what mankind has ever known before. This double India pale ale is the necessary outcome. So super badass. I mean, look at that label right there. It's got the skull with the hops in its brain, and they're blasting out of the side, that laser beam. Pretty cool. Uh, really awesome. For a while, like a few years ago, you could not find this beer uh, in, in stores at all. It was like the second they stocked it, it would just sell out immediately. And the same kind of thing is happening with the uh, the double dry hopped Ghost to the Machine. I believe that's a, that's a new release that they've made. But the thing is, is I think they are releasing the double dry hop in the brewery only. So you have to physically go there to get it. And I've noticed on Instagram, because I follow them on Instagram, they'll announce when they're going to sell it. But you have to go on their website and like pay for it on the website like really quickly and then show up at the brewery when it releases to pick it up yourself. Um, and it always they always sell out within like 30 minutes of the double dry hop. So I've never tried that one. I have had this one, but it's been quite some time. So this is going to be a really nice treat and I'm excited to drink it. All right, let's crack this boy open. Oh yeah, and I believe this is also an 8.5% alcohol brew, so very, uh, very hefty. Very hefty indeed. Alright. Ooh, look at the pour right there. Coming out with a nice, like, kind of pale orange color. Let's see if we can get it all up in there. Oh, perfect. Nice. Love this glass. I, uh, I thought it was fitting to have my tin roof, uh, you know, pillow, hazy pillow glassware right there to go with the hoppy beverage, green pillows. There we go. But wow, look at that, man. That is a nice color. It's super, um, it almost looks, it looks like a dream sickle, like the, the same color combination as a dream sickle with that creamy white head and then just this pale kind of orange color to it. Anyway, let's give it a smell. Woo! Wow. Yeah, that is that is citrusy for sure. <laughs> so much like grapefruit and just like oranges and tangerines and um like pine resin, you know, all that kind of resiny woody sappy sort of smells we've got going on. Really, really man, it smells great. All right. Cheers. Damn fly. <laughs> oh, wow. So this, wow. Oh, man. This is a beer I would have hated in college. <laughs> if I were younger, I would have absolutely hated this beer. Um, you know, I say that only because it's it's got a it's got a slight bitterness to it. Uh, it's not it's not overly bitter, but it's pretty, it's pretty bitter. You know, it's a double IPA, so of course there's going to be some in there. But um, I think my younger self would have definitely... Ah! Freaking fly, man. I can't get it away. Um, my younger self would have definitely hated this beer <laughs> for that alone. But I think, you know, with my, my palate kind of changing as, a, as you get older, um, I've definitely come to appreciate beers like this that are super, uh, like, pungent and heavy and like right in your face with this flavor i mean it damn it's attracting the flies i don't know i i don't know what the hell's going on hmm wow man it's it's so uh like resiny it's so um like dry too it, it's got 
it's it's got like a really refreshing like smell and uh the taste is kind of like overripe um like tangerines almost like overripe kind of uh like oranges and stuff like that Whew, wow it's just so it's so pungent and like in your face and uh strong it's it's like a really really strong and kind of like whoo sort of flavor but um but man is it good it is so good um the mouthfeel on it is super smooth like that i cannot stress how smooth this beer is it's just like velvety uh up in your mouth it, it's it's quite amazing wow i mean it's it's heavily alcoholic but also it just it goes down so easy that it it's pretty dangerous um like this beer, it's just so it's quaffable. It, it's chug it's not chuggable, but you know the dryness of it, and the way it kind of leaves your mouth, um, it it just makes you you just want more and more after each sip. You're like, wow, I gotta like, it. It's weird because it's got like I feel like the the biggest notes on it are the bitterness and like that kind of re like residual citrus flavor, but it's almost like not. Like your, your, your mouth is like, I need more of this. You know, I need to like experience that again and again, because you get blasted with that flavor immediately when it hits your mouth and then it kind of quickly just fades away and you're like, damn, I need to try that again. And it just keeps you coming back. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't linger. It almost kind of leaves your palate like refreshed. You're kind of like, Ooh. But like this is a really nice like flavor I could sit with just in my mouth after having this. You're like, damn, that's, that's, that's so good. It's so tasty. Um, but yeah, really full bodied, really um, you know, thick. It's got it's got like extremely hazy, uh, very very smooth beer. You know, if you're a fan of IPAs, if you like that citrus, if you like that piney kind of resiny taste, uh, and you want like a drier sort of beer. Uh, this 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 is definitely the the king of, of of IPAs. At least you know it's one of my favorite IPAs. I've got to say. Uh, so hometown, well, not hometown, but local Louisiana Heroes Parish Brewery. Uh, this there's a reason why this this thing is so like well known. And I believe I looked it up on uh, Beer Advocate. This actually is a 99 out of 100 rating, which is like practically unheard of this is this is one of the highest rated beers on the website um and i gotta agree i think this beer is like a prime example of its uh style so if you ever see this if you're ever in the south you've got to pick yourself up a ghost of the machine this is this gets the sue's brew review stamp of approval um it's it's excellent it's excellent uh you know i'm gonna go ahead and give this wow you know what? I think I got to go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10. This is, this is a 10 out of 10 beer. Um, there's just no way around it. Like <laughs> if you like IPAs, you're going to love it. If you hate IPAs, it probably won't change your mind too much about, uh, about the style. But for people who do enjoy this sort of beer, who have a refined palate, uh, you know, like other fedora tippers out there, um, they will definitely just fall head over heels for the ghost of the machine. All right, y'all. I'll see you later. This has been Sue from Sue's Brew Reviews. And uh, check out my stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 4 to 10. All right. Peace. Like and subscribe. It's like, I need more of this. You know, I need to like experience that again and again because you get blasted with that flavor immediately when it hits your mouth. And then it kind of quickly just fades away. And you're like, damn, I need to try that again. And it just keeps you coming back.